I grew up watching my mom and grandmother sew all the time. Perfect time for us to uh, spend a few days together. Our event is called It's So Fun, and it's a sewing expo. We started this about nine years ago, and it came from the idea that uh, we had people that wanted to learn new techniques. So we measure the quarter inch from the needle out, not the edge of the foot you in. You need to be just shy of that little titch right okay. there. Give that a try and let's see. My specialty is scrap quilts, and I love teaching um, beginners through confident intermediates on how to put their scraps to good use. So today we're working on a project that uses two inch strips, and we've been working this morning so far on finding where their correct quarter inch seam allowance needs to be so that our units come out the right size. And a quarter inch seam is something that quilters fight with all the time because it needs to be in the, in the right spot. So my ladies are uh, doing really well right now and we've got a lot of success happening and you can hear by the chatter behind me that they're really happy to be here and we're having a great time. It's a way to get together when sewing groups with other like-minded individuals. It's like we can solve the world's problems just by putting the strips through the machine. And it's also a way of relieving stress and it becomes a healthy venture for those that do partake. I like the creativity. Um, sometimes it doesn't turn out exactly like it should, but I like to figure out how to uh, change my mistakes into something worthwhile. We're going to put a tape guide just on top of your bobbin cover only so you can change your bobbin as often as you want to and not have to move your guide. Thank you. You're welcome. On a strip this long, if you start in the middle, it does much better. We kind of got away from sewing for a while and it kind of became not as popular and now it's starting to, to come back. So I think we just need to keep, you know, letting people know how wonderful it is and what we can do with it. And a lot of people see it as, you know, making aprons and, you know, it's, we can do so much more with sewing today for younger people. If you would like to learn, contact your county extension office. They would either tell you if they have volunteer leaders that are teaching classes or even some agents teach classes as well. Quilting and sewing, our ancestors have done this for many, many years. And we need to keep sharing that uh, with our children and grandchildren. That way that they can pass it on to the next generation. Everybody needs to have something handmade. You know, it's just, it's nice to know that someone took the time and the effort to make something for them. These are my two favorite days of the year. Look forward to this every year.